I went to Shreveport for medical school and graduated in 1999 there. Um, upon completion there, I went to Jackson, Mississippi, the University of Mississippi, where I did my residency, and I finished in 2003. I um, basically did what everybody tells you not to do. When I got out, I opened up my own practice. I didn't go in with a partner, didn't do anything like that. I have uh, had some guys I shared a call with, um, but I just pretty much came out and started my own practice. Having a neonatal ICU was very um, important. Uh, we deliver a lot of babies, some high-risk babies, um, and we knew that the neonatal ICU was very, very good, and that was a very important part of my practice. I uh, do everything from delivering babies to yearly checkups to a uh, multitude of GYN surgery. Um, one of the areas that uh, I really in enjoy is uh, helping couples who are having trouble getting pregnant. Um, my wife and I experienced some of that uh, whenever we were trying to have our first child and, and so that's something that is fairly near and dear to my heart. I think that always having uh, a either a priest or a pastor very close by is very important. Um, I was raised Baptist, but um, I grew up with a lot of Catholic friends, and, and so the, the Catholic faith is one that I'm very, very familiar with over the years. Um, and uh, I, I know and see the priests here in, at the hospital all the time, and I, I think that's a wonderful part of their health care. I don't think that many people can look at a new baby and not have a smile on their face, and so that's a very positive, happy part of uh, the practice. Um, you know, I also enjoy the, the mix of seeing patients in the office, being able to follow them through their pregnancy, being able to follow them through their lives and whenever they, they do have a need to have surgery or something like that, we can certainly, uh, you know, that's part of our practice also. Um, so just the overall uh, continuity of care makes it a really enjoyable experience.